it's MC Flawless spreading peace and love coming to live from YouTube and this is Tune and Short. So today's Tune and Short is all about three DIYs that you're going to need going back to school during this new school year. So with that, let's get started. So when you go back to school, obviously there are certain things that you need like a folder, your notebooks so you can take notes, and of course some other basics, pencils, pens, and rulers. But there are some other things that you're going to need that you might not think of. And these three things are three DIYs on how to make school a little easier and more positive for everyone this new school year. So number three is niceness. Now going back to school can sometimes be a little scary and especially if you're a new kid, new school, a little intimidating. So being nice to people by giving compliments, walking up to someone maybe that you've seen in school but you've never talked to or someone that's brand new and saying hi, how are you, making friends and spreading positivity can make things a little easier. School can often be stressful, especially during tests, finals, and many other situations. So being nice to others can be a good way to get a good groove in to school and spread more positivity to everyone around you. Number two is an open mind. Now obviously when you're in school, you're gonna learn a bunch of new lessons. And I'm not just talking about in the classroom, but outside of the classroom as well. So when you're in class, obviously keep your mind open to the brand new educational tools that you're gonna learn and that you're gonna use in your day-to-day -day life but also keep an open mind to people around you. You're gonna meet new people who come from different walks of life and who have different opinions and different viewpoints on things than you. So it's always good to keep an open mind and remember that even if someone sees something different from you or has a different opinion, it's not wrong, it's just different. So always keep an open mind and allow not just yourself to grow, but your mentality and your mind to grow as well. And finally, thing number one, kindness. It is so, so important to be kind. Bullying is something that unfortunately goes on a lot in schools. And the best way to combat that is to be, as my favorite person, Ellen DeGeneres, always says, is to be kind to one another. When we spread kindness and positivity, we allow for the negativity to dissipate and we allow for a more positive environment. As I said before, school can sometimes be stressful and intimidating, so it's good for us when we spread positivity and kindness by simply being kind to one another, saying, hey, are you okay? Being there for somebody, supporting people, and helping someone out. It is always, always, always a good idea to be kind to someone, whether you know them or not. And if you see someone being bullied, please stand up and say something. Talk to an administrator, a teacher, or someone else of authority. But also, go up to the person that you see being bullied and make sure that they're okay. Being kind, having an open mind, and spreading niceness and positivity are great DIYs that you can use every single day in your school career to help spread more positivity and make things a little easier. With that, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what other tips and tricks and advice and DIYs that you have for going back to school and making things way more positive and keeping the environment good. And I kind of like doing this DIY, so if you want to see more DIYs, let me know in the comment section down below. Also, let me know by hitting that like button, and I will see you guys on Friday. Bye!